Hey guys, we're on Reddit again and we have a serious problem here. This guy says he got 2000 leads, but no conversion, zero sales. And he goes and says that he does Facebook marketing for an extremely high end service, private jets. I have been doing Facebook and Instagram ads since January. I have used list of clients to create lookalikes, have a traffic campaign to the website for audience creation and retargeting and all this has worked in terms of number of leads and cost per lead. I have acquired a little over 2000 leads at a cost per lead at around $3 per lead. But right now we're going to see that the cost per lead is not the most important thing. He has talked to people who are shopping for private jet trips, but hasn't closed. There has been repeat customers filling the Facebook form and still nodding. What I have discussed with him is, so this guy, he's like the agency owner or the media bar, and he's talking to the client. He says that this is obviously a service for the 1% of the 1% of the population. So Facebook and Instagram is probably not a place where these customers will be easy to find. When you find this customer, when you find this customer, there is, there is a lot of competition in this space nowadays. Uh, for example, seeds and so he's doing like some terminology for this niche, which I don't understand. Uh, and also like he mentions, there is a hedge fund behind it. So if they're shopping, even if they're interested, it will be hard to get the sale. So what I think he says, they're like a lot of decision makers in the whole process. So the sales process might be very, very long. He says it's not about marketing. The sales process has also a lot to do with it. This is known conundrum in any company sales marketing are the least good does sales know how to sell etc etc he thinks he's a great salesman and i could confirm i've been doing a lot of like discovery calls and strategy sessions with business owners and whenever i jump on a call i ask how confident are you on closing your future clients and it seems like everybody is the best salesperson but a lot of people just don't want to admit it and they're not great salesmen uh his, com his competitors are also on facebook ads uh i get a lot of these ads as well as they go into the competitor's website etc he pays good money but at this point i'm lost i don't know what to do i told him we need to nurture the leads and go and and got mailchimp to send them emails every now and then asking for suggestions recommendation so this guy is like pretty lost. He has a client who pays good money, who is doing high end service. He's selling something very, very expensive. He's wondering if Facebook ads are working for his niche. He's wondering if the sales process is on point. He's wondering what to do next and how to improve his sales process. I'm going to read some of the comments. I'm going to read some of the suggestions and I'm going to share how I would tackle this if I were on at his shoes, right? Because this kind of like my specialty selling online courses, selling high ticket services and selling high ticket products with Facebook ads. So I think Facebook ads could be very, very powerful if he knows what to do. The guy says, how can he expect how he expects spending only 6,000 to have just one private jet purchase? How much is one jet? This is not a market for display. You should use Google search ad, search ad. So if he goes on Google search ads, it's going to be extremely competitive. So I think that the Google search ads will be maybe a lot more expensive because if there is money in the niche, I'm pretty sure that Google ads will be extremely, extremely oversaturated. Uh, so he says it's a jet charter not a jet sales anyway a charter costs anywhere between 5k to 100k the margin is 10 to 15 percent so if he sells his service um for 100k he'll make 15k which is a very very good profit margin i'm pretty sure that not everybody will buy the 100k package so yeah, this guy makes a good point on using Google search 
ads. This is definitely something they need to test. However, I truly believe that Facebook ads could still give them like a lot of business. This guy offers another suggestions right now. He says right now you're running ads, lead gen form, sales meeting. He says, how about adding more steps to weed out the bots or cold leads? So he suggests doing ads, landing page, few leads, gen form, shadow meeting, sales meeting. The CPA almost guarantee will be triple or quadruple, which is okay as long as you can get more receptive clients. So I'm not sure if I'll do this. I'm not sure if I'll overcomplicate the sales process. I don't think this will do anything. This is just my opinion. Then maybe your sales process is work is, is wrong. Been here, fought to hell with sales team, and then it works. Sales is the key, whether you give a good lead or the hot lead, if sales can connect with them. So basically he says that from January, uh, he got, I think 2000 leads. So this guy has a point. If nobody is doing anything with the leads, if they're approaching the leads in a wrong way, nothing is going to happen. So I'm not sure what is a lead. I'm not sure if they're j just get getting the name and email, if they're getting the name and the, the email and the phone number based on the cost per lead. I'm just going to say they're getting the name and the email. What I will do, I would ask for people, people's phone numbers and the job of the sales would be to code people and set appointments. So I think this is one of the things I would do uh, to fix his process, just asking for phone numbers, then setting up appointments or like schedule meetings on the phone or Zoom or whatever works for them. And this guy says he's doing both right now. He goes, he does Google with this Wix guy. I don't do Google. I just do Facebook, Instagram because it's what I like doing. I do this as a side gig. His sales process is he sends the person an email. If he doesn't hear back, he thinks it's a bad lead. I've told him that's not how it works. He used to, he's used to getting referrals and flying his old and flying his old school clients. It's tough. Anyone it's tough. Anyone that works with marketing understands the struggle with sales. Okay. Okay. So. I think here's the fundamental problem. A lot of people won't write an email back. This is just how it works. No matter how good the lead is, if they don't, people just won't have the time to like reply to an email. So basically what this guy wants is to talk to people, to talk to people on the phone. So doing the, the lead form where we just ask for an email doesn't make any sense. And later in this video, I'm going to do a traffic simulation and I'll share how I will change it. So this guy says you should be doing both. I think if you figure out how to make um, Facebook ads work, you could do like Google remarketing, but one channel will do the job. Uh, this guy says two, 2000 leads is amazing. Are they high quality leads? What about moving over to LinkedIn? Right away, I am suspicious about the sales process. If the leads are high quality, then I would want to know exactly what he's doing to close the deals. Does he have a CRM in place? I monitor phone calls at a doctor's office with a similar program problem and discovered that the office staff was not picking up the phone. One day we saved 80K of revenue that would have been lost by having the doctor go and personally call, call the answer phone calls responding to our ads. So it's amazing, like this guy, in this case, they're spending money on ads, just like the staff is not, not picking the phone, which is ridiculous. His sales process is he send them an email as soon as the lead comes. Yeah, I, I already read this. So this guy says MailChimp will not cut it, mate. It sounds like a similar issue as to what we face to one of our per portfolio businesses, but 2000 leads is too less to close a deal of the size considering the price point, right? What is the client customer customer's background? And this guy makes a point. This guy asks for the client customer background because he wants to figure out the customer avatar. And, and the guy goes again and says, I have told, I have told him that too. He's been doing jet chartering for 20 years, but I keep telling him the market has shifted. It's more likely for him to 
get a client from a referral than from Facebook ads, which is, which is not the case. People get clients from Facebook ads all the time. Yeah, especially since I'm not a MailChimp specialist, though between myself and budget, he spent around 12K. And with others before me, he spent another 20K from what he told me. The previous guys don't even get him leads that would interact. I'm guessing the leads he got came from a click farm. How did you solve this issue? I how I highly doubt that in those 2000 leads, nobody will buy. Um, okay, we, we got some, some very good ideas here. And another guy says, what about the form you use? Uh, do you only have personal information questions or have you added some additional more qualifying questions? Also, if you don't turn off the option that this question can be pre-populated by Facebook and you only use this question, you should turn it off because if this is the case, a lot of leads will just click on your ad to check it, but they can become your leads even if you're not interested, right? Also, if you see repeating leads, I would suggest creating excluding exclusion audience from the people that already inter interact from your ad. Yeah, so the exclusion, I don't think it will do much uh, because Facebook knows who is uh, who is doing what on their platform. I use both. I've, I've done tests with multiple forms, high volume forms, higher intent forms, which have a couple extra steps. Uh, I actually use the rip the repeat leads to show him intent and re rebut his leads are not good. Okay, okay. So what is this, the difference in C in CPL between high intent versus low intent forms from you? And no answer here. So another guy says, for my business, Facebook lead forms did not work. I did not experiment. I didn't experiment last year. I had 201 lead uh, via lead forms with Facebook itself with zero conversion. The cost per lead was seven euro. I had 203 leads via lead forms on my website. People clicking it, uh, to the to the ad, I think with 80 conversions, the cost per lead was 18 euros. So here, this guy said, says that out of like the cheap leads, he couldn't convert nobody, but out of the more expensive leads, uh, he got 18, 18 conversions. And the different, uh, this, in the second case scenario, he was sending leads to his website. This is something I haven't tested, but it makes a lot of sense because the the face the info the inside form of Facebook, uh, they're tricky. I read a lot of comments of people who say that they have problems with it. This is interesting. He has a system on his website that can give real time quotas. He captures emails from there, but I don't use that because I can monitor that with a pixel. So I can't optimize for it uh, on the ads. Maybe I should run more tests on that. The forms aren't working. Uh, a lot of people fill forms without any idea about how much a jet charter costs. Maybe making them to do to do the website uh, will weed this out. Okay, okay. Okay, so I think I got the idea. I think you also got the idea. So how I would fix this problem? I think there is like one fundamental issue and this is the marketing. So people inside this business, the first thing they need to do, they need to figure out who is their perfect customer avatar. They need to figure out who are they after. So I suggest this business focus on one uh, customer avatar. And in this case, for this business, the one customer avatar they should focus on should be an existing customer, somebody who is a repeat business, who is a repeat business and then and then they should start from there, but only one customer avatar. When they go on Facebook ads, they should create ads that will only speak to this person because a lot of people will be just curious about how much it costs and they will fill out the form. So their ad should be focused on this one customer avatar they should only attract this one customer avatar and nothing else. I know it sounds like very controversial, but this is that the Facebook ad copy 
should include. So the Facebook ad should focus only on attracting one person at a time, not more people. So for example, how do you get, how do you get this person to click on your ad? It should be on the copy. For example, if their perfect customer is somebody who is, I don't know, marketing manager or like a CEO of a company ad should be, here's why other CEOs prefer flying private compared to business or whatever, whatever this service offer. And it should start from there. And this is the fundamental marketing. This is like very, very, uh, basic marketing, which I believe, uh, this person lacks here. The, the thing that they need to improve is the copy, right? So the copy of the Facebook ads. So ad copy needs to be on point. You need to just figure out the exact pain points of your one customer avatar. You need to figure out what they want. You need to figure out how they want it. So I don't think this will be hard because the guy or the, the client already has this data. He, he's been in business for maybe 20 years. I, I thought I read it. So ad copy and here would be the second would be the ad creative. Very, very simple. When it comes to the targeting, they need to figure out if they want to target, if they want to, if they want to target locally, if they want to target nationally, for example, if they're based in Miami or if they're, if they're based in, let's say San Francisco, they need to target just locally. And right now the Facebook ads uh, algorithm is very good. So if they hit the one customer avatar, the Facebook ads will start showing uh, their ad to people who are more likely to engage with the ad. So the targeting and here I'm just going to say about location. Is it the, do, do they want to target the whole country? Do they want to target the state? Do they want to target the city? So extremely, extremely important. Those are the two elements I would think about. When it comes to restructuring the funnel, these guys are running similar funnel and I'm going to run a very simple traffic simulation here. So the, it's like very, very simple. The way it works, they're running ads to an opt-in form, right? Then people, I think the guy is sending an email and if they book a meeting, they talk on the phone and on the phone, this guy is selling the service. So this is what happens. It's somehow different variation, but very, very similar. So when you, they said that, uh, the submission on the application is, is very, very low, or as far as they think the submission is very, very low. Well. So I'm going to say submission rate to book a call, uh, 5% here. Let's say that a lot of people are leaving their name and email, uh, they're opting in. So I'm going to say 30, uh, on Facebook ads, let's say uh, they're going to spend uh, $2,000 at a cost per click of $2,000. So let's say how many people will book calls. So here, if I run simulate, uh, you're going to see if they do everything right, if they do the everything right with an ad spend of $4,000, they're going to get 600 leads uh, out of these people, out of these 600 people, 30 will book calls. Uh, if the guy is like very, very good on sales calls, he's going to close four out of 30. Uh, oh, and, and here, let's say the conversion rate from a, the conversion rate should be higher. So let's say 60% of the people will show on the call uh, and the sales conversion rate will be 25%. So I'm going to run this traffic simulation really simple. If everything works, this guy will get on 30 calls at the very end of the day, he's going to talk to 18 people, 18 people will talk, talk with him and he's going to close four sales at, and here I said that his product is 10 K on average because it's just like easier to calculate. So yeah, this is if he does an overcomplicated funnel, but here he needs to set up MailChimp in order to get a submission rate on the, on the application form of 5%. So here's what happens if he runs ads directly for calls, uh, we're just going to delete one 
one one one page and here instead of like asking people to go to a lead form we're gonna ask people to go and book a call on calendly right let's say we're conservative let's say only three people will book a call with him and everything stays the same so here it changes a lot here he's gonna get 60 people to book a call uh, 36 will show up he's gonna close nine and he's gonna make 90k so i truly believe that this simple funnel uh, will work much better for this guy so instead of having an opt-in form uh, implement calendly some some questions to qualify leads and invite people to talk to you directly and if i have to draw the funnel canva is gonna be is gonna be very very simple so the funnel will look like we're gonna have a facebook ad oh then we're gonna send people to a book a call page so this page basically will tell people what you have why they need it and what they need to do to get it very very simple very very simple and then after they book a call here you're gonna have a calendly embed and after people book a call you're gonna talk to them on the phone directly so here very very simple funnel just three steps but i think this is what makes the most sense and if you implement basic marketing properly one customer avatar facebook ads that speak directly to this customer avatar it will be very very good so here with the facebook ads you're not trying to get everybody you're just trying to get one person so this is how i would solve this issue i think a lot of people struggle with this they're getting they're getting leads but it's hard for them to convert them and, I, and in my opinion this is the most reasonable approach you could use to fix this to get your client to talk to people so yeah i think a lot of people right now they understand they understand marketing right they want to die it's very easy to set up funnels with click funnels and like go high level it's very easy to run ads you can do advantage shopping campaign but a lot of people just don't understand basic marketing and this is i'm not sure if this is the case here i don't have uh, the full picture so i won't blame the guy however this is the reality you just need to understand basic marketing you just need to focus on marketing fundamentals and the marketing fundamentals if you can take only one thing from this video would be this one focus on one customer avatar try to get only one customer avatar and start running the most basic funnel ever don't overcomplicate. don't do 11 steps to the funnel because the more steps you add to the funnel the more places uh, your funnel could break so i'm not big fan of uh complicated funnels uh when you do an overcomplicated funnel you need to spend a lot more on ads so my suggestion would be to always always start as simple as possible another thing i want to add here when you do a funnel optimize your ads for the end goal in mind for this guy the end goal in mind would be to book calls so i don't see why you need those leads when you don't have a good follow-up system in place right if you do mailchimp if you do email marketing if you do whatever you do whatever you decide to do active campaign or like pipe drive crm or whatever this overcomplicates the process so i'd say keep it simple until you figure out how to get calls so once you get calls then maybe for a long-term strategy you need to you could uh, actually add a follow-up system like mailchimp or active campaign or brevo or hubspot crm or pipe drive but for the beginning stage this guy is at a beginning stage with facebook ads he spent money but he didn't get any results so this is how i would fix it if you're getting leads but no conversions this is you this is you right here because they talk to people on the phone and they they cannot just fix it and if you go to like some if you go to some business guru their solution would be buy my online course 
their solution would be join my mastermind, but nobody will actually uh, take a look, open your business and analyze it. So if you want me to do that for you, click the link below. You can find me nikovelikov.com, book a call with me, and I'm going to help you figure out. And this is exactly what we're going to do. Thank you for watching. Make, sh make sure you subscribe to my channel. Watch all my videos in order and I'll talk to you soon.